Hi, it's Tuesday, July 28th, 2009, Canada Street News, CTV Media Unscrews. How you doing? Okay, um, just about uh, the Hubble telescope, I wanted to mention uh, that they, they saw something crash into Jupiter, and uh, this object was quite large, uh, several football fields. Uh, the Nasara Ascended Masters gang are trying to uh, blow up Jupiter to make it look like the second sun, so that could have been an incident there. Check out CanadaStreetNews.com on the side is Nasara. That's the National Economic Security and Reformation Act. Um, that should have been, um, they should have put the rainbow currency out in uh, 2003, but uh, things got messed up a bit. So this is uh, an alien Anunnaki um, lighted Ascended Masters Beast agenda. It's the bribe that uh, is going to come next once they try to fix, once they tank the economy and uh, get rid of their reptilian uh, overlords and um, come and really fix us good personally. Anyway, uh, so take a look at the Hubble telescope. Jupiter, there's a hole in Jupiter for some reason. So some of their plans are failing because there's little spaceship Capricorn um, is also, um, I think they're on their second little spaceship because the Oregon that uh, the Oregon warriors have been putting out uh, is creating the positive energy that is rebalancing the earth and uh, a lot of these ships and these entities that have been enslaving us are negative dead energy so uh, what's going on is that uh, we're neutralizing them so let's see what happens we may be able to change the ending of Book of Revelations uh, you know nothing set in stone we can uh, you know, hopefully change the ending but so far I don't see too many people waking up we're uh, pretty s sad with the fluoride and the aspartame and the apathy out there it's uh, it's made me a very quiet isolated person and I'd rather hang out with the crazy people because stupid people are going to become extinct pretty soon so be careful. Anyway, the Endeavor, um, take a look at the themes of Lemuria and Atlantis, Endeavor, the man from Atlantis, uh, Lemuria is, I'm just studying this now and I'll put this up when I get this clear in my head so that I don't uh, freak you guys out and I'll uh, do a little summary of it too. The Lemurians um, were, were matriarchal and the Atlanteans are, are patriarchal so when this whole lighted ascended master stuff comes through which is now we're in the Aquarian age so you're going to see it probably by September when the economy crashes um, the Atlanteans are going to be the ones bringing in the uh, the whole um, world dollar or whatever that's uh, they've got it called now because it's uh, it used to be Nasara uh, and now it's Gisara Global Economic Security and Reformation Act so they can't get their act straight. I've posted up uh, from July the 17th, 2009, their update on um, Nasara and their landing, because they're supposed to land in Salt Lake City, Utah, which is Mormon capital, which is, uh, they worship uh, Anlil. There's two Anunnaki uh, strains that we have to look at, because uh, the Bible's been rewritten really badly. <laughs> A lot of stuff has been edited out. That's why we need to relearn everything, rebuild everything from scratch. Thus we have Junior Genius International Schools to to do that. All of us do it. Um, but basically Atlantis and Lemuria, that all sank in a flood and then they put another Adam and Eve up. So I'm going to go into this genetic uh, bloodline on how this Cain um, bloodline came to be and if you can send me some information stuff that's not in local mainstream media I'd appreciate it because I'm trying to do my best here to uh, unscrew my own mind control programming from our education religion Illuminati money system anyway how much time do I have four minutes okay uh, so the endeavor I'm a little worried because it's landing on uh, theme 1111 which is on the 31st 2009 this seems to be ritual sacrifice a month because last year um, Timothy McVeigh McLean sorry honey uh, he was beheaded uh, by an Asian on a Greyhound bus and um, that's a total Tim, uh, Tim McLean, yeah, a cute little 20-year-old uh, um, or so, yeah, some, somewhere around there. I think he was uh, on a Greyhound bus and he got beheaded by a um, an Asian man. And that is a classic Manchurian candidate mind control 
uh, candidate. So that's why he's in uh, the psycho ward, not in jail, because uh, uh, Tavistock Institute and all our uh, psychopathic doctors uh, know how to play with our minds. So they can operate these things from satellite and tune into your brain frequencies. Lots of stuff that I've been learning that uh, we really don't know about. So stay tuned and you you too keep learning. There's lots of stuff on the left side of CanadaStreetNews.com that you need to download and start sharing with everybody. I recommend you get some Mylar blankets for your windows and for emergency situations because we are headed for some drama. Um, Amazon.com, you can get Mylar blankets. They're about a buck each if you buy a pack of 10 and get the water tablets that are for purification. Get it now because when the electricity goes down, you will not have mail delivery. You won't have bank services. You won't have anything. So if you think you're happy and fine now because it's sunny outside, well, it is in the Sioux because I've oregoned it and the thunderstorm that they are predicting here is the neutralize. Um, so if you think you're happy and it's sunny here, be sure that you're prepared so that you can uh, kind of go through this like a cl going. It's like going through a cloud, or like going through a mountain. What you're going to be headed for. So you need to lose the ego, get in your frequency of love, and start sharing. Um, if you're greedy, you're going to be left out. So there's lots of stuff. People have been talking about this forever, and if you're just waking up, you better wake up quick because uh, the sky is falling. All right, uh, what else? Toronto, flooded basements, and also Finch and Dufferin, the uh, the street gave way. It's about a hole of a big four-story building, and it's right in the middle of the street, um, broken water mains. Shamans have predicted, and a lot of other people have predicted, that water, uh, Toronto is going to be underwater all the way up to St. Clair. So this, and your garbage, and your rains, and your hot weather, and your new wild animals... Uh, is going to create more fear and draw more negative energy. Cities are energy grid vortexes for uh, for the occult, so they'll they'll take that energy and manipulate it whichever way they want to. It's just that uh, you guys in Toronto were stressed out and, and kind of crappy mood in a crappy mood to begin with. But uh, when you have no highways and your trains aren't running and your electricity isn't going, uh, you can't drive with with things normal. So I I don't know how it's going to be when. Uh, when uh, everything goes out and you're left without your electric can opener, some of you. <laughs> I love you all, but uh, I worry. I worry about those children that you uh, take care of. Because you're not doing a good job, some of you, and we need to uh, reteach them. Okay, everybody's talking about robots. Uh, take a look at the movies and the themes. Lots of uh, half-blood princes and... Uh, dragons and stuff that's all coming up because when we get into the fourth dimension we'll see the dragons we'll see the dimensions the fairies the other realms so uh, make sure that you surround yourself with positive energy uh, take a look on the side um, canadastreetnews.com what about our health take a look at oregonmasters.info learn how to make your own organ get some crystals and do it properly because uh, the occult is using Stargate, Atlant Stargate Atlantis. You know, you're going to see these dimensions coming through. The Hydron Collider, they do these things for a reason, and we pay for them. And if you want to keep going and, you know, bow down to the beast to get microchipped or get your flu shot with the, uh, with the, chi uh, the chips in it, because you're, it's a swine flu, it's a beast shot. They're going to put chips and poisons and stuff in there, and they're probably going to force you to take it in the fall. And don't you ever wonder why are they telling you that there's a flu pandemic in the fall and they have this experimental vaccine already by October 1, it's fine. It's Everything's fine in the world because they're going to do it to you. They're already lacing uh, the mail and, and spraying us with chemtrails. So don't trust the guys with the big bank counts because uh, they got to go to jail, some of them. So anyway, either share or be greedy, but it's all going to come around in the end. How much time do I have? Sorry. Okay, 9.16. Uh, let's get back to part two. See ya. <laughs>